Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about graphics optimization. So, obviously, everyone knows you can go to settings, visuals, and you can turn on your settings. Um, but what people don't know is there's a lot of games, a lot of settings outside of the game that uh, can greatly impact your performance in the game. In particular, we're talking about stuttering. Uh, right now, the beta has a crap load of um, stuttering in it when you go to a town, when you're like looking around and stuff. There's a lot of stuttering. And we can't fix the game for the developers, but we can do a lot of things that will help mitigate these FPS stuttering issues. So here's a few of those to share with you today. Uh, they're kind of quick. Uh, if you watched our videos on this, you might have seen a few of these. Um, but hopefully I got um, everything here for you. So one thing you want to do is when you're running the game, you want to right click on it, click on properties, and then this will pull up your uh, new world exe file. And this, this basically tells Windows how to handle the application when it's running. And because we can't run the game in a full screen mode, we can only run it in windowed full screen mode. Um, basically Windows decides how the game is going to run graphics wise. All right. And um, until Amazon adds a full screen option, the NVIDIA control panel and the ATI control panel, uh, they don't take effect unless you're in full screen mode. Um, I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, hey, Potion Shop, here uh, in the game, there's full screen mode. This is windowed full screen mode. This is not actual full screen mode. Um, this is windowed full screen mode. And what that means is that you don't see the window borders or anything, but you're still using windowed mode. Um, and that's why you can change in and out of the game without seeing like a black screen or anything like that. So anyway, now that you're in here, right, uh, you go down here to the bottom, like I said, right click on it, uh, right click on new world.exe properties that pulls up this right here. You wanna go to compatibility. You wanna disable full screen optimizations. This is Windows way of optimizing uh, programs that go into full screen. Uh, this is extra stuff running on your PC. The game's already been uh, optimized to run in full screen mode without the need of the Windows optimization. So you can disable this and this will uh, remove a little bit of the stuttering that happens when you're in full screen mode. Um, not entirely uh, everything because a lot of the problems are in game, but this will help. Uh, another thing is running in administrator mode. Uh, running in administrator mode allows the game to run um, and doesn't have to worry about running for asking for permissions or anything like that. Um, this is just a good rule of thumb to do uh, when you're running any program that you want to make sure is uh, running properly. A lot of people run uh, Discord, for example, in admin mode uh, so it doesn't get buggy when you're putting button, button inputs like mute and unmute and stuff like that. And the last change we're going to do in here is change high DPI settings and we're going to override high DPI scaling behavior and this defaults to application controlled, but we want to make sure this is working properly. So we're just going to check this little box here and then we're going to make sure application is selected. This should be how it's working normally, uh, but we're just going to do this just to make sure that it's working properly. Um, other things um, is when you're in Steam and you pull up Steam, you can go to properties and there is uh, a Steam overlay while in game. This is normally tab, uh, shift and tab and it's supposed to put overlay in the game, allowing you to look at your friends list, message people, do that kind of thing. Um, this does not play well with a lot of games and for um, New World in particular, this is adding a lot of stuttering to the game that is not normally there. Uh, I have this disabled on Destiny because Destiny has a very similar issue to this as well. So I would uh, highly advise turning off this. This won't affect your friends list in the game. Uh, this won't affect, um, like it won't affect your like uh, members in your guild or anything like that. So if you have friends online, this is all independent to the game and not part of the Steam at all. So you can turn that off and you'll be able to actually uh, run everything properly. So those are the main things outside of the game that you want to do. Uh, like I said, right click on New World in the library, turn off uh, Steam Overlay. Make sure you close down the Steam so that's in the, uh, the taskbar here. There's a setting for that. And uh, now we're going to go to in-game. So if you guys have already done the in-game settings to your personal preference, you might, you can skip this. But I'm going to go over it just in case. There's a new setting that they added here uh, in the open beta. And that is dynamic resolution scaling. This right here is causing the majority of issues that you're having in the game um, with stuttering. This is the vast majority. Not all of it, but this is the vast majority. Um, 
This is what is different between the closed beta, the preview, all the previous things. This is a new setting. Uh, so make sure you turn this off. This is very, very important to turn this off. Um, other small things uh, that you can do is you can uh, turn off VSync. This will add a little less latency to the game. Um, you, can, um, you can uncap your FPS. If you have, um, basically what this does is it allows you to cap your FPS. So if your GPU is running a little too hot and you don't know how to set your thermals on your GPU, uh, you can set this at 60 or, uh, or 30. I recommend setting this at bare minimum at 60 because um, currently one of the issues that they're having is there is like a, a stutter and that stutter is happening because something is not loading in properly into the game. Um, something is loading in and it's overwhelming your GPU and so your GPU is going uh, 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 and having to have to stop there and reload stuff. It's either GPU or CPU is getting bottlenecked. And um, I have found through just testing some of these sayings out here, this is primarily due to textures uh, overloading your GPU. So if you're having major FPS drops, you can mitigate this by turning down your texture details. Um, and that helps a lot. To keep your game looking relatively decent, you need a couple settings turned on. Uh, at medium, keep your game looking a little different. You need uh, shadows at medium. You need lighting at medium. Uh, this is basically how far the shadows will render. So if you turn down shadows, you'll still uh, see shadows, but you won't see them as far. And I, got, I came up here because this is a good example of this, right? You can see way down there when I step back, right? Those trees won't have shadows on them. And when I run back up, you can see the trees way over there in this little corner over here, right? That's where you're looking. There's no shadows there, and they'll load in. So you can see the shadows in the far distance loading in. That is what the shadow is doing there. Same with the lighting. This is a, a better description for this would be lighting distance and uh, shadow distance. Um, another one here is this is terrain detail distance. So if you turn this down to low, uh, you're going to see that all the all the plants are gone. Uh, so to keep your game looking fairly good looking, it's fairly important to keep the lighting, the shadows, and the terrain details uh, at at least medium, in my opinion. Um, so personally, what I've found to look good is uh, terrain details at high, um, shadows and lighting at medium, and um, all their settings. You can turn down the low if your PC is completely garbage. Um, if you're continuing to have bad FPS, um, of course you can lower these things even more, but this kind of gives you the insight into how you can keep your game running at a relatively high FPS uh, and still looking good. So again, that's uh, shadow details, lighting details, and terrain details. Uh, textures are very important for this. Um, if we put this up to uh, very high, you're going to notice that um, it reloads everything and it's going to look nice and super crispy. Uh, the problem is that those FPS stutters are going to be much more noticeable when they go through. Um, so I recommend turning it down a little bit if you're noticing a lot of FPS stutters. So that's it for the video, guys. Uh, hopefully it helped you out. I'm trying to think. There's lots of Windows settings you can change. I didn't really want to do a full video on what Windows settings you can change. There's lots of videos on YouTube on like, you know, turning off certain services, making sure background programs uh, in your taskbar here. You can make sure that your startup programs are disabled, the ones that you don't need. Um, so there's a lot of things like that you can do, but I didn't want to make a whole video on that. It's not really my expertise. I just played around with some of the game settings and looked up a few videos on how um, some of these things worked. And most importantly, like I said, uh, if you had no problems before and you're having problems now, it is probably because of dynamic resolution scaling. And so make sure that's turned off. Thanks for watching, guys. You can catch me live at Potion Shop TV. I'll be streaming this game uh, when it comes out, and I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put those down in the comments. Or if you have video ideas, put those down there as well. Thank you for watching.